What's going guys? In today's video, we'll simplify this complicated geometry question so you can solve it faster on your next exam. What's up guys? John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, let's get to the video. So the question says, the figure above shows the shaded triangular region with a hypotenuse of five centimeters that has been removed from a rectangular tile with a dimension of X and Y centimeters. Of the following, which best approximates the area in the square centimeters of the tile before the piece was removed. So essentially what's going on is we have this triangle piece that was removed from the rectangular piece. But the question is asking us to find the area of the tile before the piece was removed. So essentially we're looking for the area of this rectangle, which can be found by multiplying the length and the width. So our goal is to identify the length and the width, multiply that will give us the area of the tile. But how are we going to do that? Well, the question gives us the side length of five right there. And we can see that we are working with three right triangles with angle of 30, 30, 30. And the fact that we have 30 and 90 right here, that means this angle right here is going to be 60 because 30, 60, 90, special right triangle. And that goes the same for every single one of these triangles. And what we know about special right triangles is that it follows a special side length ratio. Side opposite from 30 will be X, opposite from 60 will be x root 3, and opposite from 90 will be 2x. So using this ratio, we can find out the missing side length. So if looking at this middle triangle, if the side of opposite from 30 is 5, that means opposite from 90 is going to be 10. And looking at this triangle, if the side opposite from 90 is 10, that means this side is going to be 5, and it's going to be 5 root 3 here, because it's opposite from 60 which tells us that x is going to be equal to 5 root 3. And to find the y, we know that, okay, 5, 10 here, that means it's going to be 5 root 3 here. And looking at this triangle, if the hypotenuse is 5 root 3, that means the side opposite from 30 will be just 5 root 3 over 2. And this side is going to be 5 root 3 over 2 times root 3, which will become 5 root 3 over 2 times root 3, which is going to be 15 over 2, which means our y is going to be 15 over 2. And to find the area of the rectangle, we just multiply x and y together, which is going to be 5 root 3 times y, which is 15 over 2. And 5 root 3 times 15 divided by 2 is going to be 64.95. And none of the answer choices look like that, but the question is looking for the best approximate area. So we just round it up, which is going to be 65. The answer is going to be choice D. So in order for you to solve this question correctly and carefully, you need to know what special right triangles is and how it works. That way you can work your way down, find out what X is, what Y is, multiply them together and get yourself to the answer. So make sure you master the concepts first and then do the practice questions, not the other way around. So that's going to be it. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, I'll see you in the next one.